Specifically, I see the most confluence coming in at this 3206 level. That's where I'd be looking to enter. And I'd be looking to DCA about right here. Would I give another man's CPR? <laughs> Yo, you know, fortunately, um, at the hospital, we've got these things called ambu bags. So I don't have to do CPR using my mouth. We, we, got, we got devices for that. Now, if I was, uh, that's why I wouldn't be taking a lifeguard job, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so first request was Sui. To take a look at Sui real quick, pull up our Foxian list. Every time I pull up our list, guys. Freaking Cass is always on fire. Like every time. Cass is such a strong coin. Let me pull this volume profile all the way across. To about right there. Oh, yeah. It's trying to flip that value area high right now. That's bullish. Cast looks really good here. Would not be surprised if this one has another run. It's just difficult to strategize a trade at current prices, you know? You are at resistance here. So, to be safe, to avoid longing the top here, I think it would be best to be a little patient here. Wait to see how this four hour candle closes. If it closes at current prices, like above this one five level, then take take a long strategize it to top side of range and run it that way. All right. So yeah, like I said, just wait for the 4H candle close. Don't want to be long in tops here. And then if you get a nice 4H candle, then I'd be looking for your first TP about right here, 156 or so. I'm a RN. Yeah, I'm a nurse. Looking at Sui here. Sui is in an interesting area right now. Struggling to get above this SR level here. Honestly, I'm thinking... Something I would, I still think it could push up from here depending on BTC. Like if Bitcoin pushes up and doesn't pull back, then of course this gets flipped in my opinion. And then you probably do have a move up at least to these highs at 1.17. But safer play would be of course to wait for a retest here. 
I'd be looking for something like this. Would be way safer of a play. All right. Do we B mix? Yeah, let's take a look at B. Get rid of some of these old plays on here. Yeah, Beam is interesting here. It's at SR. Sitting at previous support. Let's see. Definitely a clean area for a potential bounce. See in the four hour. Got some divs here. Of course, four hour bull divs. I mean, this is a strong support zone. Like, in my opinion, you could easily strategize along here. Like, if you're going to bounce, this is where you would expect to, to see a, some movement. Something like that. Did you have a long on beam, Saul, that you were looking at for a swing? I know you posted that scalp short. Nice. Yeah, man. Similar minds. We've got pretty much the same thing here. Yeah, man. Honestly, like, this is nice support. So you could enter now, since you are sitting right at the support zone, or you could wait for the bottom of the zone to fill around with 0158. Pretty much up to you. What's up, Salt? How you doing? Take a look at whiff. Yeah, so, so far on whiff, essentially, you know, we're in profits on our long after that DCA filled. Overall, here on whiff, this is my thing. You know, if this support at this daily level, I know we got a bounce from there, but if it doesn't hold, then really I, I would not be surprised 
to see us come all the way down to 1.33 next. And overall, this is starting to look more bearish than bullish. I mean, you've lost macro trend here, pretty much. So that doesn't look very good. And it's not surprising. I mean, you had a crazy run up. Like this was listed on perp exchanges over here. So if you caught this move, this would have been huge profits. But at this point, like it's pretty much, in my opinion, it's probably better to wait for. Let's just say cheaper prices. I mean, you are sitting at the 786 fib here, so that's some confluence. The 886 is sitting right at that 1.334 area I talked about, though. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a look at, I think someone asked for Tau. I think I need a chart with a little more data though. Oh, I literally just type beam again, my bad. Let's see what the KuCoin chart gives us. Okay. Okay, so Tau is coming down to pretty nice value areas here. I would wait for it to come down to this 886 again. And, you know, these kinds of coins, it's difficult to strategize longs while Bitcoin is at is doing what it's doing. So in my opinion, rather than try to time the bottom on this, I would be looking to just pick up some spot here at 250. And honestly... I would not be surprised, you know, Bitcoin has a run up this next couple of months. I would not be surprised to see Tau have a move up like this, have a bit of a resurgence. And looking at YFI. So YFI has pretty much come down to support bear market support again. Back at the exact same zone here. It's pretty insane. This coin is heavily manipulated, guys. So after this really strong push up, the Wi-Fi team, I think, sold a lot of their coins on this on this pump. And that's what brought it down, as you can see. These candles, this in one day it came down 33%. I'm pretty sure the team sold a huge amount of their coins there. So that's kind of sucky. Honestly, here on Wi-Fi, I don't think it's done dumping. I think waiting for it to come to the bottom of this zone would be the smart move. Um, I don't actually know too much about making bets for, for sports bettings. If anyone else is into that, though, maybe you can help Quantum Mountain chat. 
Yeah, man. I mean, this BTC has always been the king of these markets, though. I mean, every bull market, every bear market, it starts with BTC. So if Bitcoin is going to continue to dump, like always, these alts are going to continue to get hit. Let's take a look at BTC dominance, though, because BTC dominance is a very large factor in determining when a coin when uh, all coins are going to be successful versus start to dump even more. So in my opinion, BTC dominance, it's sitting at support right now, but it actually looks kind of weak. I will not be surprised to see BTC dominance come down to retest this OB zone down here. And if it does do that, then alts could, even if BTC dumps, alts could still hold up pretty well. I mean, it would continue the trend of ETH outperforming Bitcoin. Yeah, so I use um, open interest, spot funding. Um, I look at CVD sometimes. I use Velo to do that. That's my primary like funding, open interest, order flow site. It's it's it can give you an edge, especially like you know if BTC on lower time frames is kind of going schizo and you don't know what no. Uh, you, you just want an edge and see what buyers and sellers are doing. It can be really nice to be able to take a look at that and at least get something besides your TA to help you out. Velo data dot, um, what's, what's the site called? It's called like, Ve I type in Velo data on Google and it's the first one that pops up. I can actually show you guys. So velodata.app, open app, then I go to chart. It's, it's completely free, by the way. You don't have to pay for it. So you can go to the indicator section, and then you can actually turn on spot volume, open interest, aggregated volume. It's pretty nice, honestly, guys. And so I usually just change my spot volume. I change it to a line. And then inputs, I change my view to CVD, cumulative delta here. And it kind of just tells you what what the market is looking at at the moment. I go on lower time frames to look at it as well. So I, as you guys can see, spot buyers are on the one minute. They're stepping in here. So on the one minute, vo spot volume is going up. So when you're essentially expecting more of a pump in the market, you want to see spot go up and then you want to see um, essentially perp volume go down. Or if you are, you're looking for a large amount of shorts to jump in the market, then essentially while the market is dumping, you want to see if open interest pushes to the downside. Yeah, that's the app. That's the one. So yeah, these indicators on Velo, these are, you know, these are nice because you can't get, I don't think you can get these on TradingView. I think TradingView has added a couple things. So, you know, can see if they have anything from Velo. Yeah, I don't really know. Daily spot BTC ETF flows. Interesting. Let's see what that looks like. Huh. This is a new one. It's kind of cool just to see this. I don't. Let's see. Huh. Interesting. You can kind of see. This is kind of cool, guys. I don't know how accurate it is, of course, but it's kind of interesting. You can see, like, you know, yesterday while the market was open on that dump, ETFs were offloading. I think, actually, this is kind of weird because you'd expect the selling to be these red candles to the downside, but I'm not sure what these red candles to the upside here mean comparatively to the green. So I'll have to check into this indicator. It's kind of interesting.
Any other coins you guys want to look at? Yeah, we can take a look at sushi. All right. Sushi on the daily. Sitting at support here. As you can see, these are levels you want to see held on Sushi. Definitely don't want to see this get lost. I mean, you have pretty strong bull divs here with lower daily candle closes and higher daily RSIs here. So... If this holds, this would be actually a really nice entry on Sushi. Four hour here. It's actually not looking too bad. I like the bullish engulfing candle here. See if this lined up with any sort of fibs. Had a nice golden pocket bounce. So this is how I would view it. I would take a long on Sushi, have my stops below these wicks, and potentially... Try to grab this as the low. It could come down to this 886 and you could widen your stops in case you want to do it that way. But I would be taking my bets like this. Yeah, when you type in Velo into Google, it comes up with the, the nicotine patches or something. All right. I'm from the US. All right. So render here on the four hour. I am pretty much waiting for it to come down and hit this bullish order block here. This is where I'd be looking to take a trade. Something like that. Because you are on the 4 hour, you're still holding this uptrend here on render with you have a lot of touches here. So taking something like this would be banking on the uptrend holding. I use a Palau ID. I think Velo has a mobile app. I haven't checked it before because I just use it on the PC. US nurse salaries. It just depends on like your state and how really how like how many hours you work. When it comes to nursing, you have a pretty good amount of leniency in terms of how often you can work. And so like Full time for nursing is like 36 to 48 hours a week. And depending on your state, it can really vary on how much you make. Like nurses in some states can make, you know, 70, 80,000 a year. In some other states, it can be close to 200,000. Some of them, and honestly, with the amount of bonuses you can find in some of these nursing jobs, like if you pick up enough hours, if you take up shifts that give like over, like uh, bonuses whenever they're they need more staff on certain days, then some of my friends 
and my, even the hospital I work at, they cleared 250k last year. So it's really, it can be, it, it can be really nice. Hello, ID. <laughs> Palau ID. Yeah, so it's just like a online identification thing you can get from the country of Palau. I don't know if it's really a country. It might just be like a, I don't know what you call it. I'm not a huge ge geography nut. <laughs> but essentially, like, you can get an online ID from them and use it to KYC in different exchanges. Yep, yep, that's how I use Bybit, how I use KuCoin, BitGet. It's using my Palau. Yeah, it it does cost money. Yeah. It's like 250 bucks a year to have one. So it it just depends on whether you think it's worth it or not. All right guys, that's probably all that'll do for me today. Just wanted to get on here and stream for you guys for a little bit. I'm going to go enjoy my Saturday, my weekend. I I work tomorrow, so got to get some family time in today. But hope you guys have a great, great Saturday. Take a take some rest this weekend. You know, like I said, Saturday is the least volatility day in the markets. So don't try to chase anything. Just just chill. And I promise there'll be more opportunities ahead when the markets get going. But yeah, guys, have a great 